All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to this Vancouver Huskies expansion franchise. It's been a bit since we uploaded the last episode, but we are back. And before we start this video, I just want to let you know this Saturday, I don't know what time, but me and my buddies Luke and Paolo will be live streaming um, a podcast, a new podcast, a sports podcast, basically about the NBA and the NFL. So be sure to check that out when we know the times and all that. I'll let you guys know before every video leading up to it. It will be, if you can't join us for the live stream, it will be actually uploaded on the channel right after so you can check it out. So be sure to go check that out. And be sure to subscribe and like. You know, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. NBA, Apex, you know, we're, we're variety now here. It's not only NBA 2K because this game sucks. Um, but be sure to subscribe on the road to 1000. We're at 6, 670 something, I believe. 672, I think. So... Let's go. Let's get to 700. Now back to the series. We suck. We are three and eight. I plan on simming either halfway or the entire season in this episode because I want to get it going. I'm not going to be playing any games. I'd probably jump into like games like simcast games. I want to get this season done with because for some reason they put um, the Emeralds and us in the Western Conference um, and they moved the Pelican to the East, which I guess they technically should be in the East. Nonetheless, we're going to try and get through the season. Player stats on the season. RJ Barrett is absolutely amazing. 24 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. On really good efficiency. 49, 42, and 75. I know we're only 11 games in, but RJ Barrett is looking like an absolute monster. Um, Michael Porter Jr., 17 and 7. As you know, these are the two building pieces. I want to... Building pieces? Building blocks. I want to build around for this team is RJ Barrett and Michael Porter Jr., we picked up Kyle Kuzma in a trade last episode. He's been doing all right for us. We got Rondé Hollis Jefferson, I think, in the trade also. Chris Dunn, I think we drafted him. Yeah, we got Rondé Hollis Jefferson in the Kuzma trade. So we also picked up RJ Barrett to be our future point guard. So this team, for the future, is looking pretty damn good. We um, actually slid Robert Williams to that starting um, center position. I forgot who was starting beforehand. I think we traded whoever was starting. I think it might have been... Helio Linux, honestly. But without further ado, we are going to going to go into a massive sim. Let's sim to the trade deadline. Alright, here we go. Simulate through date. Um decline that trade. That's not. And Shaq Harrison gets injured. I'm not sure if he was getting oh, he was getting minutes for us. Alright, well. Um I guess Cody Martin is gonna be getting those minutes. He can play some shooting guard. He can definitely play some shooting guard. So let's go back to this game. Simulate through date. Um, we're we're gonna be really bad, honestly. I'm, I wouldn't say really bad. Um, we're gonna be all right. We're not gonna be a playoff team, obviously. I think we might get a top ten pick. Uh, so I want to see. If, I want to see how this team does. How R J Hampton is the one player I want to see how he does as the starter. Now I don't know. These trades are awful. What are these trades? Damn. Okay, we're going on big. We beat the Emeralds though, so that's good. That's gonna be a rivalry. Eight and sixteen so far. We pick up another win. Against the Cavs, Enos can't. Have, no, I'm not trading for Robert Williams. Robert Williams, are, that is such a bad trade. I'm not going to disable that because I actually sometimes, like maybe once in a blue moon, there will be a good trade. Um. So also, next video you should be. Um. It should be maybe an Apex video. I'm thinking about making one, another one. Uh. I. You know, Kuzma, we'll leave you as is. You're fine. You're young. You can play through a twisted right hand. And there goes RJ Hampton. How is he doing? 12 points, 4.5 rebounds, and 5 assists. Very good efficiency. He goes down. I guess Chris Dunn is going to slide back to that starting point guard position. Yeah, that sucks. That really does suck. Because Chris Dunn wasn't great at that point guard position. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's not great. He's going to be out for a couple weeks. All right, so just a minutes here i guess chris clemens is going to get those backup point guard minutes now we're almost at the trade deadline though so that is indeed a good thing ron that's a bad trade we get two three wins in a row one against the nets oh it does we actually beat the bucks too why is everyone getting hurt vernon carry off the bench five and four he's playing pretty bad to be honest everyone's getting hurt but there are a lot of players on fire even chris clemens is on fire He's averaging seven and nothing else. I don't know why he's on fire. Uh, that's our backup center. I guess Jonte Porter has to play now. I'm not sure if he can play. Yeah, he says he can play center. All right, Jonte. You're getting those minutes, bud. Are, we are getting in. Okay, we get RJ Hampton back, though. 
that that's a good thing so we'll put him back in the lineup thank god um i guess chris clemens you're gonna lose your minutes i mean you're averaging seven points so we're gonna give these minutes back to chris dunn shaq harrison your minutes are gonna go back down ronde your minutes are gonna go back down and we're gonna give them all to chris dunn i'm gonna avoid checking everyone else's stats until the trade deadline we are actually going on a pretty oh contact extension we're on a pretty decent win streak we're currently like three and a half games out of the playoffs something like that um let's go to contract extensions though i'm not sure who needs it no one wants to resign no one wants to resign okay all right well then wow okay well that ain't looking good let's go to award races though um rookie of the year we don't have one um, I guess that makes sense. I don't know why RJ Hampton should be over here over Killian Hayes, but it's whatevs. Six man of the year, we got no one. Defensive player, no one. And most improved, our, almost every single one of our players is in the most improved conversation. Uh, it's, it's all expansion team players, which makes sense. So we have a very, very good chance to get, um, uh, whatchamacallit, a uh, award, a most improved player. We have no all stars, sadly. Yeah, no all-stars. I didn't expect that. Back to the trade deadline. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. We beat the clip. We're beating good teams. Like, we, we beat the Bucks, We beat the Nuggets. And we beat the Clippers. Those are pretty big wins for an expansion team. Vernon Carey is back. We're going to give him his minutes. Shaq Harrison's going to go back down. And we're going to give Vernon Carey those minutes. I'll actually give him one more. Trade deadline. Trade deadline. Wow, I would love to have Tyler Hero on this team, but maybe not for Michael Porter Jr. That's now this is supposed to be somewhat realistic. Trading for Tyler Hero is not realistic. At we only lost by one to the Lakers. Nice, a first round pick in Stanley Johnson for Robert Williams. That's a 2023 pick. I don't want that. Hey Vernon, you want to stay healthy? No, I don't care about the captains. Chris Dunn for KCP. No, nope, that'll leave us a hole in our backup point guard. We are 20 and 35 so far, which is not good. The eighth seed is 26. So yeah, we are we're at the bottom. Oh my god, the Thunder are 5 and 49. Bro. No way. Shea's averaging 27. They have five wins. Five wins. By the way, if you see like roster changes or whatever, like ratings. Um, that look weird is because this is when the game like almost first now I won't say first came out But this is before the NBA season started like before this was before free agency. I think so The, the roster is gonna look weird, but damn they have five wins Five wins that is absurd at the trade deadline. Let's see who's performing for us RJ Barrett a monster so far this season 41 points five rebounds three assists His shooting stats have gone down a fair amount, but they're still up from last season Michael Porter Jr. is balling out. 20 points a game, 8 rebounds, a steal, shooting very, very good. Kyle Kuzma, he's not doing that well. He's really not. 14 points, 4 rebounds on bad efficiency. So, I don't... We could trade him at the deadline. I don't know if I want to. I might want to keep him. Maybe maybe a possible sign-in trade since he doesn't want to be here. Um, RJ Hampton, 12 points, 4.5 rebounds, 5 assists. He's playing really well. I don't know why he's mad. Rondé off the bench, 11 and 5 with two, I mean, two, a uh, steal and almost a block. Rondé Hollis Jefferson off the bench is balling out. Honestly, I might move Kuzma to the bench. Rondé Hollis Jefferson is killing it. We could use that defense. Chris Dunn, 8 points, 4.5 rebounds, and, I mean, 4.5 assists and 2 steals off the bench. Really good. Robert Williams, 7 9 and a block and a half and a steal as a starting center. Everyone's mad, so except for Shaq Harrison. Um,. But yeah, the team's doing pretty pretty decent, like, stat-wise. Rookie report, um, we have RJ Hampton, number five, but that's really it. Um, I mean, there's not much else. I don't think I'm going to make any trades, um, honestly. I'll field, I'll look for Kuzma, but I kind of want to keep him. Maybe we can use him um, in free agency. Why is it not letting me view offers? Okay, thank you. We could probably use him as bait in free agency possibly for like a sign and trade because right now there's nothing i want that's somewhat realistic so i think the team's gonna stay as is i mean there's, there's nothing else i want to do we're gonna sim to the end of the season we're gonna finish this season in this episode and we're gonna get to um free agency next episode we're we're losing a lot of close games honestly like four points to the warriors 
we didn't lose. Well, I mean, we didn't lose by little again. Two points to the Rockets. We we beat four points to the Warriors. Like we're losing good against good teams by small margins. Kuzma, can you stop getting hurt, bud? Like we only lost to the Bucks by five. We beat the Mavs by two. Oh my God, everyone's getting hurt. I have I have injuries on like two. Why is everyone getting hurt? Can you not? End of the season, we went 32 and 50. LeBron wins MVP, averaging nearly a triple double. Lamelo Ball wins Rookie of the Year. Spencer Dinwiddie, Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis, defense. Oh my God, those stats. Most improved goes to R.J. Barrett, 21, 5 and 3 with a steal. His percentages did go up last time we checked, so that's good. And Brad Stevens, Coach of the Year. We're obviously gonna have no one on all NBA teams, not even all defensive teams. Yeah. We didn't have no one on anything. We did have RJ Hampton on all rookie first team. And that is it. So playoff bracket. The Heat ended up getting the eighth seed. Obviously, we're not in the playoffs. Look, look at the final stats for this Huskies team. We had two 20 point per game scores, 21 for RJ and 20 for Michael Porter Jr. These two are gonna break out even more next season. I guarantee it. Um, Kyle Kuzma disappointing. RJ Hampton, really, really good rookie season as our starting point guard. Ronda Hells, Jefferson, great off the bench. Team played really well. We're going to send these playoffs. And we're going to put the... We're going to put us in the Eastern Conference. Like we're supposed, the Pelicans won it all. The Pelicans. Why do I not see their logo on the left at all? Oh, they're in the East. I forgot. They were the two seed in the East and they won it all. Zion is finals MVP. I forgot. I forgot they were in the Eastern Conference. Well, the Pelicans get a ring. Player retirements, Pau Gasol. Udonis has them on the Emeralds. The disrespect, man. The disrespect. Um, JJ Redick re retires with the ring. And that is it for retirements. League meetings. They're all going to be rejected. I don't give an F. League realignment. Let's put the teams back to where they were. Pelicans, you're going to be switched out with the um, us. I'm not sure if the Pelicans... What division were they in? I think they were in Southwest. Uh, yeah, they should be in Southwest. Um, I gotta figure this out. All right, I think I had the divisions back to normal. Um, the Jazz were in the Pacific. They're supposed to be in the Northwest. And I put the Pelicans back in the Southwest. Vancouver, we are in the Atlantic Division because obviously we're in Canada. The Raptors are over here. And the Wizards are put back in the Southeast. So that is done. Draft Lottery, you're gonna have to wait till next episode for that. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. This is probably a shorter video, I know. But that's going to be for me. GG. Also, you might be seeing a jersey change. We might be adjusting the jerseys a bit, so look out for that. GG.